Hey guys, it's Drek, and we are here for a premiere review of the Precision RBS Talos. Now, this should be coming to store soon, but I made friends with the creator, Ben, at Toy Fair, and so I have an early model here to kind of show you and talk about. So, Precision RBS stands for Precision Rubber Band Shooting, and while this is definitely a foam blasting toy kind of channel, this fits the spirit of that channel. So this is a pseudo revolver. Now I say pseudo because it's definitely not a revolver, but the way this is going to click through is under tension. This will release through here and kind of let us work through three of these things. So it stores 20 bands at a time and included are a hundred of the 90 millimeter bands and a hundred of the 60 millimeter bands, which is a ton of power for, or a ton of ammunition so that you won't have to reload very often. Now, most accurate when used with recommended sizes. There are a few different ways to do this. We're going to stick with the ones that should generate the most power. That sounds very silly as my understanding of the system is marginal, but I feel like we will get maximum power from the smaller bands since they will be under more tension. That's not uh, magic, that's just science. So these are of course the 60 millimeter bands. And from talking with Ben, I know that when you load these, you wanna actually not install them like this. The trick is to put tension on one side so that they actually kind of flick through. So you actually want to load them like so, where there's more tension here than here. Then all you have to do is rotate through and now we can load another one. So we're going to fast forward from here. All right, so there we have it. Claiming ranges of up to 30 meters or... who? So there we have it. This is a fully loaded Talos. Now, obviously, bands can also be stored all along the length of this body. You can store, I guess, your extras down in here. You can even do the 60s and the 90s in different places, but uh, reasonably ergonomic blaster. The trigger well is of a good size. I can fit my entire hand other than my trigger finger in that area down here. Very sci-fi feel. Loving the neon green on black. Still s just screams toy, but is very, very kind of it almost looks like something out of a video game, I guess is the best way to put it. Now it's loaded up. You can see that there's a lot of tension here on this wheel now. It's claiming ranges of up to 30 feet or 10 meters. I believe this is the lowest range. There is a target included that I should have set up. I think that it's very strange that they chose to put a Nerf strong arm on a competing product like this. I, I wonder why they did that. I'd be very interested in hearing their thoughts on that. I wonder where this included target is as well. I kind of want to use that in the video. Huh. That seems to be part of it. Oh well, um, maybe not a target included in this, this earlier release model. Definitely not going to hold that against them. Luckily, I set up my own shooting range right here, and I should be able to fire through this and <laughs> connect with some of these fun things. So the first shot shouldn't do anything because I rotated through and didn't load a band, and it did not. All right, so it is very eager to fire. Let's uh, step back. Well, I'm hitting it, it's just not falling over. Maybe we can take the cup down. It's remarkable, with this semi-auto style of priming and, and functioning, I've gone through my ammo very quickly, it would seem. I only have two shots left. And I only needed one. Alright, maybe if we point blank this guy, he'll go down. Yeah? No. Okay. We'll try it one more time, Precision RBS. This one's for you. And there's one more look at the loading, I guess. And then fire. <laughs> oh well. But that is my review of the Talos from Precision RBS. It's a lot of blaster for the power or for the price point. And if you're into rubber band shooting, I think that this is about as high tech as you can get. They're modular, hot swappable. They use different kinds of ammunition. They ship with a ton of said ammunition. They have everything from extra ammunition storage to a full semi-auto performance that 
frankly is really cool. I love that it uses the tension from the ammunition to power its own semi-auto functionality. That's sweet. 